Welcome back. We've we've finished with our rubric, and here we are. We we've got a completed. We've completed all the typing in there, but now we got to make it pretty. We're we're just gonna make it look good. So the the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take a look at this piece over here. If you if you wanted this to look a little different, what we could do is merge these cells. Now, now again, that doesn't look very good, but we can come over here to alignment and, and make it go uh, rotate text up. And that looks pretty good. And and what we want to do, and, and then what we want to do is we're going to go on down this this column and, and fix everything. So I'll I'll go ahead and skip ahead. Okay, so we've got weeks one through ten set up, and then the, they're going up. So you can see that. But it doesn't look good. It's it's kind of a fat column there. We want to make that skinny. If you see these little the little lines when you come to the right of a column to that bar, it, it turns into sort of this this T with arrows, or this cross with arrows, and you come down here between the one and the two, and it becomes a cross with arrows, and it does that between all the rows, and it does that between all the columns. If you double click on that, it's going to auto fit, and right now it's looking for that learner, but you can also come in here and sh shrink it. You can also come in here and shrink it to where that that looks good. That looks nice and tight in there. That looks looks comfortable. So that's how you adjust the size or the or the width of the column. And then for the the rows there, see how the week two and week one they're just not centered. They're they're left justified on the downward part of that. We, what we want to do is we want to select all those and you come up here to where it says um, align text middle or center text middle is up and down center is left and right so if we middle it and then we make sure it's centered that's a good looking a good looking column there uh, we also want to make sure that we've got everybody the same size and we do so that that looks good looks like we've got it now if we come down here and we look at our our headers uh, those do not look like they are the same size so we want to make sure that those um, rows are, are the same the same fit. So if you click and drag, you can do it as well. So we can we can do it a few different ways. We can do that that way, where we come down here and say, okay, I want 38 inch, you know, double click or whatnot. Or uh, we can make the words bigger, and, and that's what I like to do. I like to get them as big as I want them first. So we're going to go from 12 out to 18. That, that's about perfect. And then what we're going to do is we're going to double click on that bottom line and it will automatically fit it. You see how it automatically fit it before? So when you select 18, now if we go down here to week 2 and select that, and we're going to change that again to 18, it's not going to automatically fit it. But we've got that row selected, so we double click and it, it shrinks it. So let's take a look. See how those pixels there, that's 32 inches, 0 0.32 inches or 22 pixels. And then up here we've got 32 inches, 0.32 inches, and 23 pixels. So I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead, but I'm going to fix the, the width on all of these. All right, so we've adjusted all the sizes there. And now we want to make the headers pretty. We want to make them look good. So we're going to come up here to Learner, and we're going to also uh, take Learner and Block up to 18 to make that row bigger. So there they are. That looks good. And then we want to take creating the, the title, we want to make that much bigger. And then we also want to make it colored. So we, we have in here where it says fill color. So we're going to fill that color. And you always want to stay in the same scale uh, as you're working in a, in a workbook. You, you never want to go blue, pink, green, purple. Some folks do, but it's, it's just it's not good form. Uh, number one, you want to make sure to keep that contrast. So if you ever printed in black and white, you can tell the difference. Uh, if you if you do two of the same tone in 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 different colors, you're not going to be able to to tell the difference when you print it because the weight of the colors are going to feel the feel the same to the black and white scale. Um, so here we go. I like that blue. There we are, and and so we're done. So let's take a look at our our model, and and it's pretty close. The the only thing we didn't do. Whenever you click in a scale in a in a cell, if you want to bold, you just hit that button. If you want to make it uh, change the font, um, you know you can you can make it Georgia. You know you can make it bigger. Um, again, you can make it italics. 
or, or bold, uh, however you wish. So uh, it's very similar uh, to the to the model, and, uh, and there we are. So the the last thing I really want to do here is show you how to select the whole document if you need to make um, make changes to everything. So let's say we wanted to change all that font to Georgia, we would hit that top left um, intersection up there, select Georgia, and there we are. So everything would automatically adjust. And we are finished. So thank you for joining me. Uh, this has been a presentation of the Interactive Teacher. Head on over to theinteractiveteacher.com uh, for more uh, helpful advice um, and take a look around and, and give me some feedback. I'd love to hear what you think about the tutorial here.